Welcome to Daily Dose and today we have the characteristic compressive strength of concrete, right? This is a short introduction about myself, you can go through it, yes. So coming to this characteristic compressive strength of concrete, what we do, we find out the compressive strength of many concrete cubes, okay? The compressive strength of what? Many concrete cubes. Yes, like this we can find out the compressive strength. Now what we do, this 150 mm concrete cubes are taken, yes, not only one, many, you can say many samples, we can say, right? And then we plot the curve between what? The compressive strength Fc, right? And then the frequency, then the frequency. When we plot this, we get a curve like this, this green curve, right? This green curve we get. This is the curve, what is the normal distribution or I can say Gaussian distribution, right? In this you can see corresponding to the maximum frequency, right? We get the mean strength Fm, yes? And then what is the characteristic compressive strength Fck? The characteristic compressive strength is choose in such a way, this is the FCK, it is choose in such a way that only 5% samples, only 5% samples have strength less than this characteristic compressive strength. You can see from the curve, only 5% samples are less than this. Now how we get this uh, FCK numerically if I see, this difference between the FCK and FM is equal to 1.65 time, times what? Sigma. Sigma is what? Sigma is your standard deviation. Sigma is what? It is the standard deviation, right? So, this is the property of what? This is the property of the normal distribution curve. Where is the normal distribution curve? Okay. It's a normal distribution curve. The property of normal distribution curve is what? The property of normal distribution curve is that if you want to find out the particular strength such that only 5% samples are having less strength, then what you do? You subtract how much from the mean? From mean you'll subtract how much? 1.65 times of sigma. So from here I can say FCK is equal to what? the mean strength minus what? 1.65 times of sigma. This is the equation used for what? Finding the characteristic strength. And this characteristic strength is also known as the grade of concrete. It is also known as what? The grade of concrete. So when we hear M20 grade, F30 grade, so that 20, 30 is what? It is the characteristic strength. That is the characteristic strength. So we can define the characteristic strength as what? It is the strength below which not more than 5%. Not more than 5% means what? I can say 5%, right? 5% test angles are expected to fall, right? So this is the formula, yes? So now, I can say that the formula which we got, FCK is equal to FM minus 1.65 sigma, where sigma is the standard deviation. So we have some values of standard deviation, which you have to remember. For M10 and M15, it is 3.5. For M20 and M25, it is how much? It is 4. And for M30 and higher, it is 6. These are standard values of the standard deviation which you should remember. Which you remember. And from here, I can say, if this is the mean strength, we know the mean strength. Yes? So how we get the characteristic strength? We'll subtract 1.65 sigma, right? You see, this was the mean strength. You subtract how much? 1.65 times of sigma. You subtract how much? 1.65 times of sigma, you'll get what? FCK. Now from the characteristic strength, if you want to find out the design strength, how to find out? Very easy. The design strength will be divided by what? The factor of safety of concrete. That is how much? 1.5. We'll divide what? 1.5. Then you get what? The design strength of concrete. Yes? Design strength of concrete. Yes? So this is the relation between what? The mean strength. Yes, the mean strength, the characteristic strength and the design strength of concrete. Now let us solve a very simple question. Here what is given? The mean strength of concrete mix is given. So this is what? Mean strength is given. This is Fm. And we are asked to find out what? The characteristic strength if the standard deviation is given. It's a very straightforward one more question for the gate examination, right? So I can say that Fck, 
विल बी वॉट एफ एम माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ सिग्मा राइट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा इज गिवन टू अस द वैल्यू सिग्मा इज गिवन हाउ मच फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव सो एफ एम इज गिवन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव सो लेट मी फाइंड दिस वैल्यू फॉर यू सो दिस इज आई कैन से वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव वट एवर वैल्यू आई गेट आ सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम वट सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव आई एम गेटिंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ हाउ मच ऑलमोस्ट एटीन सेवेंटीन पॉइंट नाइन एट सेवन फाइव कैन से ऑलमोस्ट वट एटीन एम पी ओके आई जस्ट यू डू द कैलकुलेशन वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव इंटू फोर पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव आई एम गेटिंग हाउ मच ऑलमोस्ट एटीन एम पी सो यू सी हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ सिगमा इज गिवेन द वैल्यू ऑफ सिगमा इज गिवेन इफ द वैल्यू ऑफ सिगमा इज नॉट गिवेन वी कैन फाइंड आउट यूजिंग द टेबल राइट आई गेव यू दिस टेबल राइट फ्रॉम यूर ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड आउट नाउ इफ सम अदर डाटा इज गिवेन ओके डिफरेंट कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ आर गिवेन यू कैन फाइंड आउट एफ एम इज इक्वल टू वॉट यू कैन फाइंड आउट एफ एम इज इक्वल टू द मीन स्ट्रेंथ इक्वल टू वॉट द समेशन ऑफ ऑल द स्ट्रेंथ डिवाइड बाय द नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स राइट डिवाइड बाय द नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स येस इन दिस वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट वॉट एफ एम इट इज वॉट समेशन ऑफ वॉट ऑल द स्ट्रेंथ सपोज देर आर एन सैम्पल्स एफ सी वन प्लस एफ सी टू डॉट 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 वॉट एफ सी एन डिवाइड बाई वॉट द नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल्स दिस इज द वे यू फाइंड आउट वॉट सिंपल एरिथमेटिक मीन राइट सिंपल एरिथमेटिक मीन द स्टैंडर्ड एविशन कैन बी फाउंड आउट हाउ वेरी इजी दिस विल बी समेशन ऑफ योर एफ सी माइनस द मीन स्ट्रेंथ होल स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाई वॉट एन माइनस वन स्क्वेर दिस इज द वे फाइंड आउट वॉट दिस इज द वे यू फाइंड आउट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन आई कैन से दिस इज वॉट आई कैन से एफ सी वन माइनस एफ एम ओके होल स्क्वेर प्लस एफ सी टू माइनस एफ एम होल स्क्वेर ओके डॉट 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 देन आई कैन से एफ सी एन माइनस एफ एम ओके होल स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाई वॉट एन माइनस वन देन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ दिस ओके वेरी इजी अंडरस्टूड I'll just erase this. This might be coming in back of me. Ha ha ha. So I'll just rewrite this equation. This is what I can say. See, for the first sample, I can write down what F C one minus F M whole square. Second sample, I will write down what F C two minus F M whole square. And then for other samples, I will write down similar equation. And then what F C n minus F M whole square. Okay, summation. Then divide by what n minus one square root. This is the formula for finding what standard deviation if the individual compressive strengths are given of different samples, and this is also F C N. This is also what F C N, right? So this is the way you find out what the mean strength. Yes, this is the way you find out standard deviation, and from here I can find out what the characteristic strength. How F C K will work out what is equal to F M minus one point six five times of sigma. Easy, understood? Very easy. Yes, but this. Equations we can use only if the individual compressive strength are given. Okay, so the last question. This is your homework. Okay, and I expect to you to write down the answer in the comment section. Okay, so you see M thirty is given. This is the grade of concrete given. That means what? The grade of concrete is nothing but the F C K. So the F C K is given, and what is asked? Find the mean compressive strength of the concrete. And sigma we will find out from where. Sigma will find out from the table. So I request you to find out sigma from the table and give me the FM. This is with the homework. This will be the homework. Thank you very much. See you in some other video.